morning everyone today is march the 9th already oh my lord where does time go the time is uh just after 10 sorry for late getting started here but uh we're here yay so um, i'm gonna finish up a couple of the um cards that i did for um my last card class so i'm just gonna just go and see if i can see this on here and maybe get it posted to my VIP group. Oh, it's not even showing, so I hope I'm in the right spot. I think last time I ended up doing it on my personal page, which is unbelievable. Anyway, we'll just get going and see if there's anything. Hmm, nothing is showing. Oh my Lord, let me just go check my personal page. Make sure it's not there, right? Um, oh, there we go. We've seen it. Yay, yes. And we'll just share it to my VIP group and then we'll get started. Okay. So, oh, turn that volume down. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna do um, one card and a th really cute and easy um, 3D project. So I'm just gonna flip you around. I'll take this off first. And flip you around so you're not looking at the roof. There we go. And get that perfect on there. So a couple of things before we get started. Um, you know, only one more day to register for my um, Dainty Delight class. So we'll be making these three cards. So we'll do two of each. Um, there's many different options. The class is, um, the in-person class is on Thursday. The in-person class is on Saturday, March the 25th at 8 a.m. And the Zoom class is on Thursday, March 30th at 6.30 p.m. Um, the cost for the bundle, so you get the bundle. So you get the stamp set, all the dies, and the sample, sample pieces of the... I've sort of used up some of the paper already. I'm just waiting for some more to come in of the special vellum paper. So you'll get um, six sheets of the special vellum paper. So there's um, stripes, there's polka dots, and there's some with actual leaves on it, which is really, really pretty. Um, you get a sampling of that, and that'll be for $95. Or if you're a club member or a team member, then it is down to $15. Otherwise, it's $25. If you do a purchase of $40 or more at the class, then you get the class for free. RSVP is required by tomorrow. It's going to close tomorrow. So if you're interested, just um, let me know and I'll send you the registration form to get started. And that class, <clears throat> excuse me, is just here in in person class is in Winnipeg. And um, I can send it to you if you live in other parts of the country. So this is the card we're going to do tonight today, this one here, and then I'm going to show you how I made this really cute 3D project, which would be perfect, like you can hang it, I just think it's so cute, you can hang it, I guess I can't really show you how to hang it on the thing, but it's, it's super cute. So let's get started. Okay, so we have... Our products, which is we have a soft succulent designer series, our cardstock, which is five and a half by eight and a half, folded at four and a quarter, and then we're just going to burnish that to give it a nice crisp clothesline. You're going to need a piece of um, copper cardstock, a scrap piece of paper to do your stamping on, and then we have designer series paper that's going to go onto that. We have some extra. And we have um, the base, and this is just going to sit on top of that. And this is a three and a quarter by four and a half. And this is three by four and a half. So that will fit on there just like that. And I don't have any. And then I just have a scrap paper. Oh, oh, I don't have enough. Just have to grab some scrap paper for my to do my leaves and my firefly. So I'll just take a second. And 
there we go. As you can see, all I did was I just used this piece here and I cut out this to save a little bit of paper and time. And that's going to go on to like that. But we're not going to do that quite yet. Let's just get some cutting done. So I'm just going to just move all this over here and we'll do some stamping and some cutting. Okay, so I did the leaves here. Oh, I'll just show you. I'm just going to show you the. Let's start again. So here's the Lighting the Way uh, bundle. So it comes with this gorgeous um, stamp set. And then you have the dies to go with it. I just want one the same place. So I will need this die out. And I'm going to do um, this. I'm going to do all three of the leaves on this in this bundle. And then I also am going, going to need the ones to cut out the butterflies or the fireflies. So I need those guys. And the sentiment I use on there is follow your dreams. So I'm just going to take that out. We'll take these guys out and we'll get stamp in. Okay, so I'm just going to just... Um, place my images onto my block just like that. I'm going to bring in my soft succulent ink. I'm just going to put all this out of the way. I don't want to lose anything. And I'm just going to just stamp one of each on this scrap piece of paper. And then when you're stamping, you want to make sure you have enough room between each, each set of um, leaves so when you go to die cut it out they're not cutting on top of each other so there's one and do this one so if you're part of my VIP group um, you might want to check out the posting from this morning um, we have something happening later on tonight um, my VIP group is for local or Canadian demonstrators or Canadian stampers. We have fun thing happening later tonight. Okay, so I stamped those three using my soft succulent. And we'll just put these guys away and I'll wash them all later. And now, now we have the inks out we're gonna um, stamp the firefly so we're the bigger one and we'll do a couple little ones so maybe I'll just do it on here yeah well I'm gonna stamp those guys in basic gray and I'm going to do so as you can see we have two little ones and a bigger firefly so I'm just stamp these guys on here. Take that one off and put this puppy on. And then two of these guys. Okay. Move these guys out of the way. We're going to need that one for later. Move to that. The ink out of the way because I know I will definitely end up stamping everything. So I'm going to cut out my fireflies first. <clears throat> I'm going to do the top one and then the bottom one. And when I'm doing this, if you notice that they have two little, I guess, horns sticking out, that's where you're going to put. That's for the actual antennas for the fireflies. And because they're small, I am going to use a bit of washi tape to keep it in place. And two. And then, oh, I guess I shouldn't tape it onto the paper, right? Silly use. Just gonna make sure. I'm going to just bring this in. I'm 
do it right on my plate. And just to save a little bit of time, I'm just going to grab my foil paper. I'm going to cut my lantern out. I'm just going to just snip this all excess off. And um, just like that. And I'm going to put a little tape on that one too because it's close to the edges. And I don't want to cut any off of that. Okay, so now let's bring in cut and boss machine. And just run this on through. So those of you that live in the Winnipeg area and are interested in attending the sizzling summer crop registration is now open. Um, it's there's a link if you go down, scroll down in the um, on this page here. It'll take you. It should show you the link and take you right to the registration form. It is open. Um, if you decide to, you're going to come. If you if you register and pay before April the fifteenth, you do get a ten dollar discount. So I know some of you were so excited about registering that you sent me extra cash. So I will be sending you funds back later on this week. So thank you so much. Those of you that registered and paid, I greatly appreciate it. Your spot is secure. Just so there's make and take, there's silent auction, there's couple bingo games there's lots of pillow gifts some really cute ones some fun ones so it's always a fun day um, <coughs> it is two days it is June the 2nd and 3rd June the 2nd is a Friday basically come and set up um, I will be doing my BOGO sale at that time so if you're interested, um, and the BOGO is just for um, attendees of the crop. Little extra bonus for them for coming. And yeah, it's always a fun time. It's a lot of work for moi. Um, I have my daughter and a good friend from Ottawa coming flying out to um, to hang out with us. Amanda, Amanda's going to be in the kitchen and Gail will be helping out wherever we need her which I'm so grateful for. Yeah. It'll be a fun week. Gail's coming out for a little bit longer than Amanda is so we get to spend some girl time together. Yay. Okay. So, oops, where did I put my die? Oh, that's right there. Okay, so there is that one. There is this one. Now I better take these off because I know if I don't, because I throw stuff in the trash without even really looking at it these guys off right away okay so I have my three flower my three leaves um, one two three and then I have my fireflies one two three and then I have my lantern go. I just punch out those pieces right there. And, okay, so let's bring in the card base and start assembling. Okay, so first things first, let's put our designer series paper onto our card base, which are, this is four by five and a quarter. And I'm just going to just glue this right onto the card base. I'm 
this is dead. I'm gonna start quit wishing that they're they're not, but they are. Three sitting in the stand, so this one looks like it's got oh, there we go. Just adhere that on just like that. Okay, so this piece is going to go in the inside here, like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just, just going to add this onto the bottom, and then I'll trim it off a little bit later. This straight there we go and I'm just gonna let that sit to the side and now I'm gonna do this piece right here so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab my blending brush and I'm gonna grab my soft succulent ink I'm going to ink up my brush very lightly and I'm going to just start on the side and work my way around. You can go up as high as you wish. I'm going to circular motion. Make sure you start off on your, on your um, scrap piece of paper that you're working on and just bring it in that way. Otherwise, you'll have a big blob, and if you don't want to do it softly. Okay, so we've done that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my stamp set. And I'm going to grab this one right here, because this is going to be the center. As you can see, it's going to be the center of the lantern. So I'm going to grab this guy right here. And my Daffodil Delight. And what I'm going to do is basically I'm just going to dry fit my lantern. See whereabouts I want to put it. As you can see on here, I did it quite close to the edge. And it weighs up. So I'm just going to just sort of eyeball that. And ink up my circle. Try this again too. Ink up my circle. So I want to read about here. So I'm going to put this on. It's like the center of the lantern like that. But you know that it glows, right? So, so I better just, I'm just going to just cut, take some of the ink off my brush. And bring in my Daffodil Delight. And just in a circular motion, same thing, take the excess off here. Start in the center and then work my way out. So, so you have a glow, right? So see that? Isn't that pretty? And now what we're going to do is bring in another lantern. I'm going to put it like that and see how that glows out. Just gorgeous. We're going to put our lantern in place. Now what I'm just going to do is just put a wee bit of glue on the outside of the lantern and then just put it right there just like that okay so now we have our fireflies but our fireflies you can see on the, on the card our fireflies have little glowing bums so we're going to bring in the daffodil delight again And the smaller, actually I'm going to go smaller than that. I'm going to go with the smallest circle, which is this one right here. Let's put this one back. And then I'm just going to put this. This is where the bums of the fireflies are going to go. Like that. 
Okay, so now let's grab our fireflies. And I should have my blend doors. Oh, there we go. So you just want to just take <clears throat> your um, Daffodil Delight blend. And you just want to color the bums of the fireflies. So they look like they're on fire. There we go. Okay, so now let's start to assemble the card. So we have the lantern in place, so now I'm going to put my leaves on, and I'm just going to put them on with just a wee bit of multi-purpose liquid glue, like right there. And I, I like that for it to be flapping. I don't like to be it to be flat, but that's entirely up to you. It's your card. You can do how you wish. And then this piece will go up like this. And then this one here, I will bring it like that. And then make sure that it's not going to go over the edge of the card, which I don't think it will. Then this piece here get, just gets adhered right onto the card, like onto the card base, like that, or the card stock with the little missing piece and you just want to go around because this piece here is going to be adhered to your card base but I am going to use dimensionals to adhere it on okay so now I'm going to grab my glue my mini dimensionals and I'm just going to add but you know what? I need some bling on my card, right? So I'm just going to grab my Wink Estella and I'm going to color. So you just want to put your fireflies right so the bums are on the dots like that. And I'm going to grab my Wink Estella and I'm going to color the fireflies with the Wink Estella because I have to have some sort of bling on my cards. That like that, and let's just see if I can find. So let's wait. There's a clear one. I'm just gonna just color, and that way it makes the le the leaves, the wings look transparent with the the bling on there. And then of course I love my Wink Estella. And when the chewing casella runs out, don't um, don't throw it out. Add a wee bit of rubbing alcohol into it, and you can revive probably just a wee bit more off of that. So I'm going to bring in my sentiment, and we're going to be using the Follow Your Dream stamp set or ink, and I'm going to be using. I want the sentiment to stand out, so I'm going to be using the Evening Evergreen. ink on that and I'll just ink this up put it into the center sorry to see the top of my head there like that see how that pops with the evening evergreen I'm gonna miss this color when it goes <laughs> the revamping is coming up on the 29th That's so sad to see what's going but excited to see what's coming in the revamping the colors so i'm hoping they bring a few back um the color of the mini um the new mini um cut and emboss machine which is the um baja blue that is one of the new colors and on some of the paper they've added some colors is it this one here no on some of the the new designer series paper that's being offered right now they have um, some of the new colors I'm going to just take off the edges I just want it I don't like that how long that is so just trim that back a bit 
Okay, so now we have our card base, our piece. Now we're gonna put this onto our card base. And like I said, I'm gonna use dimensionals. I'm just gonna just cut these guys up. Uh, just have the trash bin beside me here, so I'll just add them to the trash bin. Oops. And then we'll just tear this way down to here, just like that. Now I'm just going to add this to the inside, and on this one here, what did I do on the inside of this one? I just added a couple of fireflies, so I'll do the same thing. Just, I'm just going to use now these are the medium sized fireflies. So, nice and gray. Put one here one here and then I'm just gonna bring in the small circle that I used earlier and some of my daffodil delight and we'll just give him a glowing bum there we go and then we'll just add this set some glue to the back side of this it to the inside of the card. Oh, I didn't do a very good job about, oh well. <laughs> okay, so let's just get all these guys put away and then we'll show you how I did the lantern. I'm just going to just clean these guys off in the back. There we go. Put these guys back in there. And okay, so the paper that I used for the the out the, the base is called um, Fancy Flora, and it's gorgeous paper. It's like, you can use just about anything. Oh, that, that's my favorite, I'm thinking. And then we have this one that's pretty too. Like, it'll go with just about anything. And that one's pretty too. I've seen lots done with that one. And, that, and we're back, to, and that's the one I use, I'm thinking, yeah. And we're back to where we were. So that's gorgeous paper. Um, it, it will be, I'm thinking like all the paper retires at the end of the, the catalog. So if you're wanting any of the paper, I suggest that you purchase it before the retiring list comes out. Okay, so now what we have here is we have two pieces, scrap pieces of um, garden green. We have a three, is this a three and a half? Two and a half by two and a half square. We have two pieces of vellum, and we have some so saffron. So for this one, what we're going to need is we're going to need the lantern, and we're going to need a one of the fireflies. We're just going to cut that out, and we have some some twine. Move these guys out all out of the way, and I'll bring in. Now you can use your little cutting emboss machine for this because this will fit through that, which is really exciting because it's nice and light. And here's that Baja Blue that's going to be coming when the new catalog is released. Um, 
we get to start ordering in April, but we can't order the whole catalog. There's only selected pieces that they'll let us order. So you can rest assured, I'm gonna do what I can, order what I can. Definitely all the new colors and the color revamping and all that sort of stuff too. So just I'm just gonna cut out two of these puppies. There's one. And let's do it again. And the second one. I just I just love my mini. I just it's so light. When I'm upstairs um, prepping and I want to spend time with Rick, I just take this upstairs and away I go. It is so smooth when you're running it on through. And there's the second one. So we're going to, I'm just going to just pop these guys out. Cause, and then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just grab my so saffron and one of my bees. And this is a cute, quick and easy project to do. Like if you're doing, uh, like I'm thinking if you're doing like a dinner party or something like a summer dinner, dinner party, this would be perfect for the table settings, put people's names on it. Okay, so we scored, uh, this is a two and a half by two and a half, and I scored it at um, half an inch all the way around to make a box. I'm just gonna just go and burnish, some nice crisp lines. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut up the center of the score line there. And there, and flip it around to the opposite side, there, and there. I'm just going to just trim off a wee bit of the outside. And that's so it lays flat. Okay, so now I'm going to grab now you can adhere this with whatever you wish. I'm going to use my multi-purpose glue and just add a wee bit here. Bring this in. Hold it in place. And then do the same thing on the opposite side. You want to do that all the way around. Oops. Have your little base. And just let that dry into place and we're just going to just pop out the extras on this and the same on this one. And we'll take this and the butterflies or the firefly and just put it to the side. And then what I'm going to do now is if you notice on mine, I have the vellum on there. So what I'm going to do is bring in <clears throat> my stamp and seal and the silicone mat. Oh, my silicone mat is on the table somewhere. So I'm just gonna bring in, I'll just flip this around. Hmm. My silicone mat is where? Oh. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these over and do the back side. And I'm just going to just add vellum, or not vellum, um, my seal all the way around. And then I'm going to just take my vellum 
and just put it right over top, just like that. We'll lift that up. A little sticky on the bottom, but that's okay. That's what we want. And put this one over and do the exact same thing. Add a bit of all the way around. And then tear the vellum to the back side. I'm going to flip it around. Now all we're going to do is just trim around the outside. So like, I was thinking like, this would be perfect for like, if you're Boy Scouts, Girl Guides or whatever, they're doing a camping trip or something like that. This will be so cool as a, um, as a project for them to do. Like I know, I know they do activities and stuff. I'm not too sure if they do crafts, but this would be just a really cool, easy, especially if they're going camping or something like that. It does pertain to could you do use lanterns? And this one you could put by their beds. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add some more seal on the bottom. And we're going to grab a. Oh, let's grab a tea light, put it into the center. And you just want to bring. Oh, make sure you center your lantern like that and I'm going to do it on the opposite side just like that. Turn your lantern on or your light on and then you, what you want to do is just add a bit of seal at the top, put these guys together just like that and pinch it and then you want to bring in your twine or your whatever you're using and then I'm going to just tie mine off like this just to give it that, that rustic look and it can be hung and we have a butterfly or a firefly so we're just going to just flip up the wings on this one add a wee bit uh, multi-purpose glue and add the firefly onto the lantern just like that and isn't that cute quick and easy to do just need to cut everything out and then just adhere it and like the fussy cutting is quite easy it's just around the edges of the the lantern it's not the whole lantern but isn't it the cutest quick and easy so there's the two cards that we did And here's the other two cards that we did on Tuesday. So if you didn't catch the video on Tuesday, you can go ahead and, and check that out too. So these are these are the ones from Tuesday. These two are the ones from Tuesday, and these are the ones that I did today. And these are all were done at on my um, Lighting the Way card class. So if you purchase the bundle, you got all the product um, to make the cards. So you just had to cut everything out um, if you're at the house come over to the house and we did it together and I supplied everything your blends and everything like that but if you did it at home you had to supply your own so and there you have it so I thank you for joining me this morning I hope you enjoyed the projects that we did and if you have any questions please let me know if you need to order anything please do please make sure you use this hostess code right here and uh, you never know it's coming in the mail to you Okay, thanks again. Thanks for joining me. Greatly appreciate it. You all have a wonderful day.